hi guys welcome back to the channel today's video is an installation video i'm going to be showing you how i installed this hair i already did a review on this hair previously on my channel i'm going to leave it linked here and i'm also going to leave it down linked in the description but this video is the installation of the hair because i promised to install it so if you are interested in finding out how i installed this hair then definitely do keep on watching please subscribe to the channel subscribe now so you don't forget to subscribe and then like and share this video so that somebody else can see this okay this is a synthetic wig and i'm in love with it so i'll take the hair out of the bag the transparent bag this is a t-part wig and i'm going to remove the straps because the hair was too tight on my head like the cap is quite small but thank god it's stretchy but i'm not going to use the combs i'm just showing you have some combs and then the straps <laughs> it was so funny how i put it on my head so i had to pull the nude cap back i already applied foundation on the nude cap and guess what i forgot to apply foundation or powder on the lace of the wig but i'll do that later on you know this is a ghetto install this is actually my first time fun fact um actually installing a frontal on my head by myself so score me in the comment section let me know how i did from one to ten what would you score me so i finally was able to put the head and then fit it properly how i want it to be on my hair and i'm actually kind of liking it already i had to change to something that i'll be comfortable in and that will bring out the color of this hair i'm going to pack the hair behind with a rubber band forget the ghetto way i'm doing this thing please this is my first time i really don't have the t-pins and all those things yet i would buy them so i use the rubber band and then i'm adjusting it to where i want it to fit on my hair guys i had to keep pulling at it because it was so snug and it was my head it's like my head was bigger than it it couldn't go f um, forward more than this and if you can look if you look at the list you will see that my hair was where my hand is touching you can still see some strands of my hair there because i couldn't pull it forward i'm using the got to be glued spray for this instead of me to spray my skin i actually sprayed the hair look <laughs> this installation but anyway it did turn out it turned out very good and i'm sure the next time that i'll be doing this it will be way 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 better than this and i was trying to beat time because i didn't want power to go off you know nigeria now so i put my <laughs> okay i'm just applying the powder now as you can see to the lace because i just remember that ah, ah Tina, you didn't put uh, you didn't uh, put powder or any foundation on the lace to match your skin color so what i did was i'm actually working in sections i'm cutting off the excess around my ears yeah so i'm working in sections i was using the got to be glue spray i will spray it down and then press it, the lace down on my skin and then use the my blow dryer in cool setting and this way it made it dry faster so i'll spray as much as i want on my hair enough to make the lace stick to my skin then press the lace down and then use my blow dryer in cool setting this just it, it saved me a lot of time and working in section also helped as well it helped me to be able to get the lace laid down properly guys if you see it, it, this video it doesn't really show how i am pulling this lace down on my head for it to be able to come and at least cover my hairline it was a struggle so if you're buying wigs you can see if you know how tight i was holding this eh? <laughs> If you're buying wigs from china if you have a very big head that's bigger than mine i really don't know whether this wig is going to fit your head so if you're enjoying this ghetto install so far give this video a thumbs up and please call me let me know what you think how am i doing so far for somebody who is just doing this for the very very first time please let me know how you feel about this my install and then i'm doing i'm cutting off the excess lace also from the other side of my ear and you see what i'm talking about i had to actually press the lace down on my actual hair because the lace cap couldn't go further than that. i refused to go forward and now i'm cutting off the excess lace in front with a scissors i'm doing it in a zigzag manner the hairline looks a little bit weird because i don't know this hair shape is not really my head shape and i i don't know anybody that has this kind of head shape anyway 
but <laughs> I was still able to walk around it. And then I'm tying down my scarf to make the lace actually melt into my skin even more. I would also use my blow dryer in cool setting just to make it dry faster. So yeah, this is what we have. To clean off the excess glue on my skin, I'm using water and a cloth to just clean it. I don't have alcohol. Normally you would use alcohol to clean your excess glue on your skin. I went ahead to do my makeup and this is what we are working with. What do you think? I really love the wig so far. If I had actually applied foundation to the lace, it would have even made it match my skin even more. So now I'm trying to pat the hair, made the pattern very neat. I was thinking I was going to pluck around the pattern but <laughs> this hair the tea part there is not a lot of space uh of the space is very small so actually plucking out the hair i was scared that it might make it look so scanty so i will remedy that later on which you guys will see so i just made the parts more defined i'm trying to see where i can bring out baby hairs if i want a side bone and all of that but that's what i was i decided not to do the side bone but i still went ahead to do um, baby hairs Please forgive my way of doing this because this is my first time actually installing, like I said, a frontal on my head. So let me know how you think I'm doing so far. And if you've never done this on yourself, would this video actually encourage you to do it? Would you actually consider doing your own installation by yourself? Guys, I'm loving this wig so far. Like it looks like human hair. Nobody is going to stand beside you and think this hair is synthetic. I love the quality of the hair. I'm using my hair mousse. I think I still also went in with the got to be glued spray. I just didn't I didn't just didn't show it in the video so that the baby hairs will stay even more. But I didn't want the baby hairs to be stiff. I wanted it to still look like you know how human beings' hair look, not just stiff. So that was why I still I used both the got to be glued spray as well as the my mousse. so this is it now i'm going to brush the hair to brush brush i didn't even need to straighten this hair this hair didn't need any straightening at all for it to stay bone straight like out of the pack this is how it looks like now for the pattern i applied foundation to make the part even more defined and uh, i love it i love it i love it this is how it's looking so far So would you be able to tell that this hair was installed by somebody that has never ever installed the frontal before? I doubt. Ah, see as I'm looking cute. I really, really, really love this hair. Synthetic wear. Who, who say? Where? <laughs> ah. So just a quick note, in order for you to really have the best out of this hair and in order for you to enjoy this hair, I took out my baby hair. That's why this place is looking, having a patch here. So please excuse that. I just combed everything out. The hair does tango. See? The hair does shed. I mean, it sheds a lot. But for tangling, it doesn't tangle. So far, it has not tangled. The only thing I would advise is for it to remain straight like this throughout the day you should have a small this is a plastic one you should have a the plastic one you should have a brush i forgot what they call this brush but something like this you should have a smaller one like this in your purse that you can just take out of your bag and just comb your hair once in a while so that it looks straight like this all day okay that's a tip for you to get it to look like this all day so guys thanks for watching this is the finished look i really love the hair i haven't even used any straightening iron on it and it definitely looks 
it looks like a very expensive hair the only thing i'm going to say is this is not an everyday hair it's not something that you would wear like every day but if you have an occasion you have a date or something this is something you can just throw on and this hair looks so nice it looks so nice on my skin i'm really really loving the look okay noble hair official store if you're interested in getting this hair the hair will be linked down in the description bar this video is not sponsored it is not a sponsored video so everything i'm saying here i'm saying it genuinely not that if a video is sponsored i will not be genuine but i'm just trying to make you guys see that it's worth the buy it's worth your coins okay